morning everyone and welcome to our my trucking life it is thursday the 15th of march and um we gotta be nice and quiet as we get out of here this morning it is uh just before five o'clock i want to try and get out without waking up mr car transporter he got back last night just before his 15 was up. Trust me, I know that feeling. When you're racing to park up and you've got one minute left, that's how literally close he was. But anyway, enough about him. It is a wet start. Wet and cold. Oh dear. And we are making our way back when Royal Mail decides to go. We are making our way back up to the house factory. We're going to pick a load up that should hopefully be ready already. And it's only going down to Gloucester this morning, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, I don't know how much you can see or not, but it's still absolutely pitch black out there. I thought it might have been starting to get light at least at this time of morning. Oh dear, so yes, we're going to go down to Gloucester with another load from the house factory. And then go back to the yard to diesel up and that. And depending on whether Joseph is any better today, will be, will be the result of what we do next. I did warn the gods yesterday that I might have to go and take him up to the doctors today. But he did improve yesterday. So let's hope that's not the case. Alright, well here we are at stage 4 now. There is our trailer. They've loaded it overnight. We've just got to get her strapped up. And then face the music on the M6. Because if you look up there, it's crawling already. Because they've already decided to start major roadworks <coughs> excuse me the M6 is shut between 4 and 2 and it looks like it's still shut I don't think it should still be shut at the moment I'm guessing it's ongoing um, surely it's not permanently closed so I'm guessing they've had roadworks there overnight and they haven't lifted them off yet so it's going to be fun getting down to Gloucester I'm going to go get her strapped up anyway, I'll have to put my trailer somewhere, pull that one out and then put my trailer back in that space. So the other trailers to the left of it can all get loaded. And it's piddling down with rain so unfortunately you can't see me do it. Speak to you in a bit. So there we have it guys, we are all strapped up and good to go. We're just having a 15 minute break there before we start. Um, swapping the trailers and getting ready to go I nearly got caught out by a extra panel there see that second strap at the front of the back one there there's a loose panel right at the front and I just spotted it right at the last minute it wouldn't have been able to fall out I'll assume because of the strap that's behind it but it wasn't physically being pulled down so obviously I've rectified that apart from that nice easy load and it's all good to go I'd have preferred those OSB boards on the back personally but then I'd have had to put probably three more straps over all the little bits of wood on the top so you can't win half the time but I'm happy with it it looks pretty neat to me and it's got to go about 60 odd miles to Gloucester Right, break time's over, and now, I don't know why I'm drawing this because it's going to get wet again in a minute. We are swapping trailers over, and I've uh, had a bit of a, a bit of a brainwave while I was on break. What I'm going to do is film a full vlog today. And um, edit it either tonight at home, tomorrow night at home, or whenever 
I get the chance. So that way I'll be able to do actual full videos instead of really quick, you know, quick, quick short ones or not interesting ones and stuff like that. So I want to try and keep things interesting. And um, luckily, we haven't got to put our trailer back in this space because it said it's okay there. So, this video might not be coming out to you on Thursday, the 15th of February. I'm pretty sure it won't be. However, it'll be here soon. And you're watching it now, so it's arrived. Right. I hope you're all sitting comfortably because it is time to begin. We have got. We've got just over an hour to get down here. And, um. It's doable. Half past eight is the booking time. I just hope the M42 is running alright. And we all know what the M42 is like. Oh, 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 So oh, the 42 was busy but it was moving. After that little hiccup at that junction, we managed to use the smart motorway to our advantage. Undertake all the thickos and now we're just waiting for middle lane hogger in his Range Rover Vogue Sport or whatever it is to realise that he's not actually doing 60 but 52. But anyway, he, he obviously made it clear that he didn't want me to get in front of him so, you know, Never mind, it's not a race. See you later, Mr. Range Rover. And um, we're just about to get onto the M40, so I was expecting this bit to be the worst part of the 42, but it looks like everyone has actually been nice and civilized when they've selected their lanes to get off onto the 40 or the 42. And once the lane markings change shortly, we'll be able to move over and overtake this Brett's lorry. It's looking like we're going to be about half an hour late to the site. I think we have a half an hour, uh, sorry, I think we have one hour time slot. So it's not that bad. It's got a polo by the side of us doing about 54, not letting us come across, so. Let's brake for him, and now we can go. Sorry, it's a golf, not a polo. Anyway, not everyone has got has got highly cut. Yeah, Mr. Transit fan, nicely done. <laughs> oh dear, not to worry, eh? Not to worry. Anyway, I'm not going to moan too much. Not everyone's got a highly calibrated tachograph like a truck has and not everyone's as confident driving in the rain so you know each to their own just drive it safe get it there on time if if you can but more importantly get it there in one piece oh, ladies and gentlemen I always try to bring you one of Barry Proctor's when we see them out on the road fantastic fleet they've got and I believe they're based up in Stoke uh, I think the majority of the work they do is bricks and they've got a fantastic fleet as I'm sure you'll agree this is their draw bar DAF 105 <laughs> felt weird calling it a DAF I don't know why I did <laughs> but it looks very nice Wagon and drag, drawbar, whatever you want to call it, it's 
looking good. She's got a bit of a shine on as well. Very nice. King of the road on the back. Oh, sorry, it says return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. <laughs> Very nice. And that is why it's called Clock Tower Road. Beautiful little monument on that island there. And more importantly, the clock's actually working. Showing everyone that we're 25 minutes late. But it is race day as well. We had to queue up for about a mile to get off at the uh, junction. Now last time we tipped right down the bottom. Oh, I remember. I remember this mud bath. <laughs> I remember it well. We can't. I thought we were going to tip there, but we're not. There's a school here to the left, which looks really cool. I don't want to scare this lady here. I would have been able to get through there, but I didn't want to scare her because she hadn't seen me. Now, do we chance it and drive in there? Last time we drove in and it was tight as hell. Um, but that was a long time ago, so let's give it a chance. All we had to do was move some of the curbs, sorry, the, the fences. And the stuff we brought last time has probably been put up into a house now. Thanks to that Astra, struggled making that turn then. Um, right, this is where we had to move the fences on the left, but it looks like they've tidied it up a bit now. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. These houses wasn't finished last time we came here. Ground workers only left. So I don't think they're going to allow me there anymore. Oh. Right, let's go and see him and I'll get back to you. Okay, well, the friendly chap over there has told me that the last truck who brought them continued further into the site. So we're going to venture into the unknown now. I hope he isn't still here. I'm a bit concerned because the gods haven't phoned me up yet and asked me how I'm getting on. So that might be a bit of an indication that our other guy might still be... Oh no, we've got the half eight delivery, haven't we? So he ain't going to be here. Unless he's come and pushed in front of me. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. You got a car there. He probably lives here. <laughs> I'll get back to you in a bit, guys. For God's sake. Well, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Yeah, well, it turned out our delivery is the half ten. Not half eight after all. So, that's why there's a bit of a congestion going on. But anyway, we've got our gear off. We're just unloading now, but we've got to reverse. And I don't like getting scaffolding there. Can't tell how far it's sticking out. I was going to say, um, yeah, we've got to reverse past him, so you'll see the you'll see the floor packs that we've got there as they go on their way back to the site. 
ready to make someone's make someone's home and as you can see by the floor Cinderella isn't very happy because she's getting covered in mud again I wonder if I can wrap one up before it gets back see you in a bit we managed to get two wrapped up so I'll just show you this one last pack getting took off and then I'm not going to keep showing it you all again I'm sure you know what it looks like There you go, see you later. Oh dear, so we're on our way back up now and here's one of LW Surplus's High Lines. Anyone would think I've still got the handbrake on. Look at them pipes. <laughs> very, very nice. Come on Cinderella, what's going on? Oh, there's another. Oh my god, the bull nose is here as well, guys. The bull nose is. Oh my goodness. Absolutely amazing. Here's the bull nose. Get ready for it. Two of them. Two of the bull noses. Oh. about the language but I got some goosebumps there man absolute beautiful <laughs> all right we are back at the house factory now apologies for that uh, rather immature rant <laughs> oh dear diesel in the blood is diesel in the blood and if you don't like the sound of mv8s then there's something wrong with you but anyway, we have established what's going on. We are picking up a load, which is currently right next to me there. It's all ready, if you look in the mirror. It's all ready on a trailer. And um, we're just gonna have ourselves a half an hour break here. Have a cup of coffee. Helps if you put it on break. Have a cup of coffee. And then uh, get everything ready. And it looks like we're gonna have to move our uh, Colleagues trailer. I'm supposed to put them into an empty bay, but for one reason or another it's still there. So never mind, maybe you just forgot. Oh dear. That is going to Swansea tomorrow. I've got to take it back to the yard tonight. And um, have a nice early start tomorrow. Get down to Swansea. See what the rest of the day brings after that. Hopefully, I'll be recording it all as well, um, because it'll be only bloody Friday, and I can't have only bloody Friday without a bit of a vlog, can I? <laughs> so I will uh, leave things here, um, get all the vlog edited tonight at home. And hopefully I'll upload it on Thursday as well. But no promises guys, no promises. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget to tune into the next video. Where we'll be taking that load of wood. Down to the bottom of Wales. And I'm going to guess. Bringing a coil back up with us. Better dry my sheets.